Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator of the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the preliminary actions that was part of the Battle of Leyte Gulf. Admiral Curita's center force was sailing through Palawan Passage on their way to the Saboyan Sea and then the Leyte Gulf area. They were sighted by two American submarines, Darter and Dace. The American submarines were able to maneuver into a firing position despite the 15 Japanese destroyers on any submarine patrol and fire multiple spreads of torpedoes. The first spread hit Admiral Curita's flagship, the heavy cruiser Otago. Four torpedoes sunk the cruiser so rapidly that Curita had to swim to safety. He was rescued by a destroyer and transferred to the battleship Yamato, which would be his flagship for the remainder of the action. Some historians believe that this caused him enough anguish and stress that it may have impacted his decision making later on in the battle. Other spreads of torpedoes hit the cruisers Maya and Takeo. Two of the cruisers were sunk, another one had to retreat back to Brunei and was not repaired before the end of the war. The submarines were also able to radio the position report of the Japanese battleships to 3rd and 7th fleets. This went very much against the Japanese battle plan, which was relying on the northern aircraft carriers being spotted prior to the center or southern forces battleships. Because the carriers had not yet been sighted, Halsey was able to make a series of air attacks on Curita's battleships as they went through the Saboyan Sea. This resulted in the Japanese super battleship Musashi being sunk and many of his other ships being damaged. Thank you for listening today. Tune back in later for more content. And special thank you to George Leone for contributing much of the history that we're relaying this month.